Hey, what's up everyone? As an introduction to Steemit, we're going to kick things off by covering some of the basics of Steemit in this video and answer the obvious question of what the heck is it? So let's get started discussing Steemit at a high level first and then filter down to the details. At its core, Steemit is a social media platform that runs on top of a blockchain and rewards members of the community with cryptocurrency for their participation on the site steemit.com. All right, let's break up this statement and examine the parts individually. We're first going to focus on the fact that Steemit is a social media platform and look at the social aspects of the site steemit.com. Steemit allows its members, commonly referred to as Steemians by the way, to publish content in the form of posts. Posts are basically blogs that you create and post to the Steemit website. As a member, you can also upvote other users' posts, comment on posts, and re-steam other users' posts, which is similar to what retweeting a post on Twitter is or sharing someone else's post on Facebook. You can also follow other Steemians to get easy access to their shared content, and of course, you can always just simply browse the site for content without any further engagement at all. So we see that Steemit is centered around posts. So what are these posts about? Well, really, they can be about anything. Your posts can cover any topic that you'd like, as long as you're not violating any laws with your posts, especially when it comes to copyright laws and plagiarism. Generally speaking, though, aside from that, you can post about anything you want, and your posts can take on several forms. You can post in blog format, or you can post a video, photos, memes, a mix of any of these, whatever. Also, there's no standard style that you're required to follow with your posts either. For example, your posts can be blogs from your personal life, or they could be educational videos, or they could be even sharing art. So the door's really open to use your own creative style and formats that feel most natural or practical for you and what you want to share. Now, given that you can post about any topic that you'd like, it's important to tag your articles with relevant tags so that they show up in the related feeds. Posts are organized by the tags you use. Currently, Steemit limits your posts to having five tags or less. So if I make a post about artificial neural networks, for example, you may imagine that I'd use tags like hashtag artificial neural network, hashtag AI, hashtag machine learning, etc. Now, aside from tagging your articles so that they show up on the appropriate feeds, tags are also helpful for when you're trying to decide on what type of content you want to be browsing or following as a member as well. For example, you can look at all the posts that have used the hashtag machine learning tag by looking at the respective machine learning feed. You could then, for example, order these posts by newness or how they're currently trending. We're going to go into a lot more detail about the social side of things on Steemit in later videos, and we'll also be demoing how to do some of the things we just discussed. But what we've mentioned so far gives us a good general foundation for the main social aspects of the site. So now let's look back at the statement we made earlier and check out the next piece we mentioned, which is that Steemit runs on top of a blockchain. Steemit runs on top of what is known as the Steam blockchain. This blockchain is a publicly accessible distributed database that tracks all the activity on the site. Put simply, the Steam blockchain stores all the data from steemit.com. So that means every post you make, every upvote, re-steam, every edit, etc. It's being stored forever on the Steam blockchain. Now, recording this data isn't the only way that the Steam blockchain is incorporated into steemit.com. This blockchain is what powers and distributes the rewards throughout the Steemit network. This actually leads us to the next piece of the statement that we've been breaking down, where we said that rewards are distributed to members of the community in the form of cryptocurrency. Just like other blockchains, the Steam blockchain produces cryptocurrency each time a block is created. This cryptocurrency is called Steam as well. By convention, when speaking of the cryptocurrency, STEAM is in all caps, and when speaking of the blockchain, only the first letter, S, is capitalized. Now these STEAM tokens are what's distributed to members within the community for their participation on the site. Unlike other blockchains where miners get all the crypto created from producing a new block, this is not the case for STEAM. With the STEAM blockchain, the majority of the new STEAM created from producing a new block is actually distributed to the members of the community as a reward for their participation. And this leads us right to the next and final section of our statement. We said that members are paid STEAM for their participation on the site, right? So does that mean that I can just go post a meme of a gecko that mentions Bitcoin and get paid greatly because I quote, participated? Well, not necessarily. 
I mean, it's possible, but only if others in the community actually find value in the post and engage with it as well. Here we see that wasn't necessarily the case. There are a few things that will influence how much you get paid for a post, but most importantly is the engagement your post receives. So if other members of the community are commenting and upvoting and re-steaming your post, then you're likely going to get paid more for it. Additionally, you can get paid for doing other activities on the site besides posting. You can get paid for upvoting and commenting on others' posts as well. These rewards are called curation rewards, whereas the rewards you get for posting are called author rewards. So, this wraps up the initial overview of Steemit. We covered several topics in this video at a really general level, but don't worry, we're going to be going into a lot more detail about all of these topics, plus many others, in future videos of this playlist to break everything down. There are several other crucial pieces of Steemit that we haven't even touched on yet, like reputation, Steam power, the breakdown of the rewards payout, and how to even get started with your own account. Trust me, we're going to get there. I think we'll go ahead in the next video and show how to get set up on Steemit so that you can start getting your hands dirty as we continue to cover these topics going forward. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Steemit goodness.